Well, the fact that uh, I've, ever since the age of 17, gone back and forth between Istanbul and London um, is a very basic, crucial element in my poetry. In the early years, when I was uh, quite young, uh, all the time spent in London, which was most of the year, initially for university and then uh, even after that, uh, the time spent in London was very much a time when I missed everything I'd left behind. And as the years went past, what I left behind stopped being simply a city, but it also began to become uh, youth, innocence. Uh, and Istanbul, for many years in my life, symbolized lost youth, lost innocence, uh, the lost years of the past. Uh, in more recent years, uh, the process has begun to reverse, so I now spend more time in Istanbul, um, and I look back at the time I spent in London. So, yes, very much, uh, the, my poetry is very much uh, a tale of two cities, and in fact I do have uh, a poem called uh, A Tale of Two Cities. Writing about the countryside is certainly part of uh, Turkish tradition, but it isn't part of my poetry because um, I'm very much someone of, uh, of the city. If, if there isn't enough concrete and steel and glass around me, I feel slightly uncomfortable um, I like nature, obviously, but um, as something to look at from the city rather than something uh, to be in the middle of. So there isn't very much of nature in my poetry, but very much of the city. The, uh, the fact that I left Turkey at the age of 17 to go to university in Britain and then stayed for 30 years... Uh, really is a momentous kind of change in one's life, which then changes the whole of the rest of your life. And uh, the poem plays on the fact that the fingers, as you get onto a plane from the, um, from the airport, look like fingers pointing at something. And it's about me getting onto the flight which took me to Britain and the fingers through which I walked onto the plane pointing at something and me wondering what was it they were pointing at. 30 years later, um, occasionally I still think, well, how would my life have been if I hadn't got onto that plane and gone off to Britain? So it, it's, it's, that, it's about that uh, looking back after 30, 35 years, and wondering, was there a message in those fingers? Were they pointing at something which I still haven't discovered? Körükler. Nasıl unutabilirim? İlk binişimdi uçağa. Biletlerimizi gösterip çıkmıştık kapıdan. Bir yanımda dedem, birinde annem. Mavi bir otobüs gelip bırakmıştı bizi kanadın tam altına. On bildi yaşım. Gidişimiz belliydi, dönüşümüz belli. İzmir'e gidiyorduk bir haftalığına. İkincisi altı yıl sonra. Aklımda o da. Okumaya gidiyorum. Elimde biletim. Önümde beni bekleyen yeni bir dünya. Körüklerden geçip gidiliyordu artık. Bekleme salonundan doğru uçağa. Seksek oynar gibi yürüdüm gittim. Oturup pencereden baktığımda arkamda sıra sıra körükler, koca birer parmak sanki hepsi, bir şeye işaret eder gibiydiler. Neydi söylemek istedikleri, neye çekiyorlardı dikkatimi, merak ederim arada bir hala.